which not only makes you smarter, but also can make you a little bit richer. Three times a week, the show where every player is an honored guest and every question is important. The show which is broadcasted almost all around the world and that's what I like about it most. Yesterday, half of the world was celebrating the new year according to the Chinese calendar. Not only in China, but everywhere, on every continent and almost in every country, people were making wishes and starting fireworks. I love that festive atmosphere and especially the spirit of people being so united. Every holiday has its own traditions and thanks to modern technologies, we can learn more about how people celebrate holidays around the world. What I like most about holidays is the food, of course. Almost every holiday has something special to offer. For the new year in Russia, we cook so much that we need around 10 days to eat that all. And for all those 10 days, no one goes to work. They are official days off in the whole country. Just imagine, people can officially be fat and lazy for 10 days. Some people, though, do it all year long. Victor, for example, looks like he ate a whole Santa Claus for the new year. And it seems like now he turns into Santa himself bit by bit. You know how it happens first, some beard grows on your face, then you start wearing those strange hats. Anyway, there is only one thing I'm sure about. Everybody loves eating. Cooking together is great too. It makes people closer and brings more trust and connection. IT option has not only traders from all around the world, but also employees. Just imagine, all together we speak around 25 different languages. And I'd like to share a little secret with you. This Sunday, we are going to have big international food festival in the office. I'm so excited. Last year, we were asking our colleagues from around the world to cook their favorite national dish. And then we ate and chose the best one. Thai and Pakistani dishes were so spicy that I couldn't even breathe. And Brazilian and Italian dishes were so good, one could swallow their tongue. But this year, we made it even more interesting. We made a lottery. So everyone who wants to cook got a random country and now needs to cook and present a dish from there. The colleagues who come from those countries will be judging strictly. I got Kazakhstan. To be honest, I have no idea what to cook. I would really appreciate if you give me some tips and chat. I really, really want to win this year, so please don't be shy and share your ideas and recipes with me in chat. By the way, what's your favorite dish? Do you like traditional food of your country or are you open to experiments and always want to try something new? I love going to national restaurants. Some time ago, my Pakistani friend took me to a great restaurant of Indian food and it turned out that I love curry. I just needed to try a real one. It is important to eat well, not only to be healthy, but also to be smart. I hope you had a good meal before the game. And if you are still chewing the last bite, hurry up. We are about to start the game within just a few moments. And to make this offer a little bit more tasty for you, I'm going to show you how much money we have in the bank. Yay, exactly, $1,000, which will be equally divided between all of today's winners. If you want to be among them, please read and listen to the rules carefully, especially if it's your first game in IQ quiz. So, what you need to do is to answer 12 questions in a row, starting from the very first one. And there are only 12 seconds to choose the correct answer from the three options offered. If you choose the wrong variant, you have a chance to use the extra life and continue playing with us, but only if it's not the final round, of course. To get more extra lives, you can invite your friends to play the quiz with us using the referral code behind the heart in the right upper corner, right here. Communicate with other players, you're welcome to use the chat. At the moment, we have 2,348 people with us. So, I guess you are ready to start the game. 
so please put your sandwich away and forget about your coffee. I have something much more interesting for you. And here it is, it's question number one. An amount of money that is paid into a bank account is called a quote, leverage or a deposit. Quote, leverage or deposit. First question, as usually, is quite an easy one. So I'm sure each and every one of you will be able to press the right button. So just a few seconds for you to finish and here we go. The last price at which a security or a commodity traded is a quote. Leverage results from using borrowed capital as a funding source when investing to expand the firm's asset base and generate returns on risk capital. An amount of money that is paid into a bank account is a deposit, of course. And at least 2,108 people knew the correct answer this time. We keep on moving to question number two. JP225 belongs to this group of assets. So are they indices, forex or crypto? We have all kinds of assets on the platform, actually over 200 of them. Which is your favorite? You choose. Just like you choose the correct answer for question number two right now. So, three, two, one, and we're done. Currency pairs such as the Australian dollar against the Canadian or the Euro against the Japanese yen belong to Forex group of assets because Forex stands for foreign exchange. Bitcoin, Tron, Ripple are examples of cryptocurrencies. And JP225, AU200 and SP35 are indices. You can trade indices on your favorite IQ option platform. And maybe 1,209 players are already doing that. That's why they knew the correct answer. Let's see how lucky they will be with the question number three. Which of these companies is German? So is it Tesco, Heinz or Adidas? Tesco, Heinz or Adidas. All these three companies are international and known worldwide. But only one of them is based in Germany. Do you know which one? Hurry up and press the button. I'm sure you can do it right. Heinz is an American food processing company based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Tesco is a British multinational groceries and general merchandise retailer. Adidas is a multinational corporation founded and headquartered in Germany. It is the largest sportswear manufacturer in Europe. IQ quizzes like intellectual sport a bit, isn't it? You need to be fast and smart. Just like 520 guys who managed to answer correctly just now. And by the way, that was a really tough question. Yeah, probably that was not so easy, but are you ready for question number four now? Here we go. A portrait of Mahatma Gandhi is featured on this currency. So is it Indian rupee, Pakistani rupee or Thai baht? Even if you are not a resident of one of these three countries, you, for example, might be collecting money of different countries like I do. So maybe you've seen it, maybe you've just seen it once and this little case might be super helpful. So. How do you think? Which answer is correct? All banknotes of Pakistani rupee, other than a one and two rupees, feature a portrait of Muhammad Ali Jinnah, the founder of Pakistan. The Thai bat features a portrait of the king of Thailand. And Mahatma Gandhi, who led India to independence and inspired movements for civil rights and freedom across the world, is featured on the Indian rupee. We love our traders from Pakistan and India. I bet most of the 889 people who gave the right answer 
might be from those two hot and beautiful countries. And question number five is here for everyone. This indicator, developed by Tish and De, assesses the strength of a trend. So, is it Arun, average true range, or balance of power? Mm, you need to have a very good balance of knowledge and speed to get this question right and on time. So, just a few seconds for you to choose the variant that you believe is the right one. The average true range is a technical analysis volatility indicator developed by Jail Wales Wider for commodities. The balance of power indicator developed by Don Warden measures the market strength of buyers against sellers. The Arun indicator was developed by Tushar Shande as a way to assess the strength of a trend. We already have all of the three on our platform, so don't be shy and try using them on your training account first. Question number five was easy for 228 lovers of technical analysis. And there was a top question again. I hope question number six will bring us something interesting. So would you like to see what's there? Let's go. Which of these companies did Elon Musk found? Was it the drilling company, the boring company, or the snoring company? If you are interested in biographies of famous businessmen, then you probably know that Elon Musk has a great sense of humor. So how do you think, how did he call one of his companies? In late 2018, this company unveiled the One Mile Tunnel under Los Angeles for research and development of the Loop Network. It works by shooting modified electric cars through underground tunnels at high speed in order to avoid the alleviate self-destroying traffic on the roads above. The company that built the tunnel is called the Boring Company and it was funded by Elon Musk in 2016. Even if they paid me a lot, I wouldn't like to do something boring at work. There are more fun ways to get the money, like playing a kick quiz, for example. And just now, 365 people made one more step to their victory by guessing the answer right. Question number seven will be no less interesting. And here it is. The current price at which a security may be bought or sold is called the spot price, conversion price, or bid price. As an experienced trader, you know that every security has several prices, but which of them will help you not only to gain profit, but get a little closer to your victory in IQ quiz? The bid price is the price a buyer is willing to pay for security. The price per share at which a convertible security can be converted into common stock is a conversion price. The current price at which a particular security can be bought or sold for immediate delivery is called the spot price. The spot price is the price which drives the chart and IQ option. Our formula is very simple, bid plus ask divided into two. And at least 111 traders know how to deal with that. Tough question again. There is a tough game. The less players are left, the more is the price. So please don't be upset if you're still with me. I wish you to increase your knowledge in trading every day and gain more profit. And meanwhile, we are moving to question number eight. The world's largest textile exporter as of 2017 was India, China or European Union. All of the three regions are famous for big textile production, but only one of them is the leader. The answer might be unexpected or might be obvious. 
I don't know. The choice is yours. In 2017, India was amongst the top textile producing countries in the world. Its market was valued at $17 billion in 2017. The European Union was 23% of the global market share and the market value of $69 billion was the second largest textile exporter region. In 2017, China's textile exports were valued at $110 billion, a figure that corresponds to 37% of the global market share. If we have any Chinese traders playing with us right now, I want you to know I'm proud of you guys, as well as I'm proud of 143 smart fellows who knew the answer for the question and managed to choose it within 12 seconds. And actually, that was the tough question too! Two thirds of the quiz are done. And if you are still with me, great, keep it up. Question number nine is already here for you. Investment funds intended for the highest short-term rate of return is called soft money, fiat money, or hot money. Money, money, money. That's why we are here. Everybody loves it. And there are so many ways to call different money investments. So how would you call particularly this one? The money that is donated to political parties, where the purpose is not to promote a specific candidate, is soft money. Currency that a government has declared to be legal tender, which is not barked by a physical commodity, is called fiat money. They are regular dollars, rubles, euros or Chinese yen. So they are regular money of any country. Currency that moves regularly and quickly between financial markets so investors ensure they are getting the highest short-term interest rates uh, are hot money. Questions are getting harder and it's really getting hot in here in the studio with all that lights. But I hope at least you feel comfortable wherever you are now. And I know that 159 guys are a little bit happier than the others because they managed to answer this question correctly. Question number 10, hot and fresh, will be the next one. The cryptocurrency of this protocol cannot be mined. So is it Ethereum, Ripple or Monero? There are many ways to get some cryptocurrency. You can buy it, you can exchange it from the other cryptocurrency, or you can actually mine it. If you want to know more about it, you're welcome to study some resources online, but please always choose only the trustworthy ones. Ethereum, or more correctly Ether, can be mined. Its mining process is almost the same as with Bitcoin. Monero is a proof-of-work cryptocurrency that can be mined with a computational power from a score processing unit of graphics processing unit. Ripple's token, XRP, isn't mined like Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin and many other cryptocurrencies. Ripple has produced 100 billion units and it's an official number that will not increase or decrease. And there are about 39 billion of them on the market. Cryptocurrencies might not be such a big hype as they used to be last year, but still 120 traders know a lot about them. Maybe because you can trade Ripple on IQ option. There are just two steps away from the final. I keep my fingers crossed for you, my friends, and I bring you question number 11. The European country, which has the lowest VAT, as of 2018 is Germany, Malta or Luxembourg. What stands for value added tax? So do you know which of these countries has the lowest value of value added tax? <laughs> In general, all of these three countries enjoy relatively low VAT rates in comparison to other European countries. 
Germany's VAT rate is 19%, which puts the country into the third place on our list. Malta takes second place with 18%. The lowest VAT rate in Europe in 2018 was the Luxembourg, only 17%. How many of you knew the answer this time? Mm, 38 people, only 38? That's a tough question again, the fifth in a row. Nobody is interested in playing an easy game, right? If you want to be a winner, you need to put some effort. So, if you are still with me, if you manage to do this question right, you just need to do the same thing just once and the prize is yours. Get focused and get ready for the final round. America's wealthiest celebrity as of 2018, according to Forbes magazine, was George Lucas, Steven Spielberg, or Oprah Winfrey. Show business is a very nice business. Everybody wants to be famous and rich. I don't know if you can get as famous and, and rich as these three, but what I know for sure is if you get this question right, you will be the winner of IQ Quiz. America's 10 wealthiest celebrities hold a combined fortune of over 18 billion dollars. By the way, that's more than the GDP of Iceland. Host and media star Oprah Winfrey took the third place with a net worth of 2.8 billion dollars. Filmmaker Steven Spielberg is in the second place with the net worth of 3.7 billion. In 2018, Star Wars creator George Lucas led the ranking of America's richest celebrities with a net worth of 5.4 billion dollars. The Grand Prix of IQ Quiz is a bit more humble, but still very pleasant. $1,000 today will be shared between 37 winners of the game and each of them will receive $27.03. Even billionaires had to start from something. And I wish you great wealth. We'll start today from this little price. On the screens of your smartphones, you can see the nicknames of the winners. And if your name is not there this time, please don't be upset. You will have another chance on Friday already so soon. And me, your little lucky star, will be here next week in a fancy St. Valentine's special. So don't miss it, another thousand of green American dollars will be waiting for you. Thank you very much for your time and attention. Thank you for your smart hats and fast fingers. And simply thank you for being with me this time. Keep it up and never stop shining. Remember, we're all made of stars. All the best to you and bye-bye!